We physicists have held up 100 years, starting around 1916, for this famous physicist, Dr. Makaku, a trailblazer in hypothetical physical science. He has devoted his life to disentangling the most profound insider secrets of the universe. Currently, he set out on a journey to challenge and possibly revamp the crucial regulations that govern our existence. Broadly viewed as one of the most prominent logical personalities of our time, Dr. Kaku strongly recommends that our world may be settled inside the bounds of a black hole. Simply envision the significant implications, our whole impression of existence embodied inside the enormous gravitational draw of these inestimable puzzlers. Yet what precisely is a black hole and how could it become? Join us as we dig into this spellbinding journey, investigating the phenomenal possibilities hidden inside these grandiose peculiarities. We'll inspect ongoing images caught by the James Webb Space Telescope, which could potentially reshape how we understand the universe's starting point. As indicated by leading researchers, black holes are far from simple voids in space. They are unpredictable, vast marvels. These gigantic convergences of matter, compacted into incomprehensibly small spaces, have a gravitational force so extraordinary that even light can't escape. Notwithstanding their imperceptibility, their presence is obvious through their significant effect on surrounding matter. A few black holes are surrounded by twirling circles of gas and dust, producing immense amounts of radiation and earning the title of quasars, the universe's astonishing elements. But how do these entrancing peculiarities form? Researchers propose different kinds of black holes, strikingly. Heavenly black holes brought into being from the breakdown of monstrous stars and very massive black holes living at the hearts of galaxies like our own Milky Way. While the exact formation methods remain a mystery, theories range from heavenly breakdown to the mergers of smaller black holes or the ingestion of adjacent stars over vast timescales. Recent observations by the James Webb Space Telescope Challenge established theories, especially concerning the universe's origin. Dr. Kaku, known for his real-life insights, highlights the telescope's remarkable discoveries, including the detection of galaxies just a portion of a billion years after the Big Bang and worlds multiple times bigger than our Milky Way. This discovery represents a significant challenge to current models, as such enormous galaxies shouldn't have existed at such an early stage. Dr. Kaku underscores the need to rethink and possibly overhaul our understanding of the universe's beginnings, considering these astounding findings. These galaxies, containing billions of stars, arose when the universe was still in its earliest stages, raising important questions about cosmic evolution and the fundamental laws governing our reality. The timeline of galaxy formation, as depicted by recent discoveries, challenges current models, proposing a faster and earlier development than previously thought. This fascinating puzzle might require new insights from physics or the development of novel theories of galaxy formation. As aptly named by Dr. Kaku, the groundbreaking discovery of these universe breakers highlights the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to provide a fresh perspective on the universe's early history, testing existing ideas and encouraging investigation into unknown regions of space. Experts from Swinburne University of Technology, Melbourne, Australia, led by EVOL Throw, made a major leap forward by analyzing images taken by the JWST in July 2022. These images, capturing a small part of the sky, revealed six galaxies of remarkable brilliance and reddish tint, previously undetectable by other telescopes. Using photometric redshift estimates, they determined the universe's distance from Earth, revealing astonishingly high redshift values ranging from 9.5 to 11.5. This suggests that the light from these galaxies originated more than 700 million years after the Big Bang. Further investigation revealed the incredibly massive stellar masses of these galaxies ranging from 10 to 100 times the mass of our Sun, rivaling or surpassing that of our Milky Way. These findings contradict conventional theories of gradual galaxy formation, suggesting a rapid conversion of gas into stars. Additionally, inconsistencies arose concerning cosmological models based on studies of the cosmic microwave background, as these galaxies contained more mass than expected for their respective regions of space. The presence of old, Red stars in these galaxies raised questions about star formation and chemical enrichment in young environments. To address these inconsistencies, researchers considered alternative explanations, 
including the possibility that these objects could not be galaxies, but instead quasars or other active galactic nuclei powered by very massive black holes at their centers. These discoveries highlight the complexity of the early universe and the need for continued investigation and refinement of our observations. However, the absence of clear cosmic markers expected from active galactic nuclei in these objects raises questions. The formation and accumulation of matter onto extremely massive black holes typically takes time, making it unusual at such high redshifts. Another possibility is that the models and theories used to interpret the observations were flawed, leading to uncertainties about these galaxies' development. Further research and exploration are needed to unravel the mysteries surrounding these extraordinary galaxies and illuminate the processes behind their formation and evolution. These processes may involve the creation of massive galaxies in a short period of time, without relying on mergers or gradual accumulation. On the other hand, these galaxies may be anomalies that arose under extraordinary circumstances or in rare regions of space, rather than being representative of the universe as a whole. At that time, these inconsistencies could challenge our understanding of cosmology or physics, suggesting novel events or connections beyond the scope of current models. Dr. Kaku speculates that factors such as the destruction of dark matter or primordial density fluctuations may have affected the early universe's volume and distribution of matter, resulting in variations in mass and faster growth in certain regions. Furthermore, evidence for new dimensions or additional forces such as those proposed in string theory or modified gravity, could affect our understanding of the universe's fundamental laws. While these are theoretical possibilities, they underscore the need for further examination and testing with additional data and more advanced models in the years to come. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with a range of instruments capable of conducting thorough investigations, is expected to provide more information about these curious galaxies and their implications for cosmology and physics in the future. Meanwhile, in an exciting development, observations by the James Webb Space Telescope have shed new light on the mystery of globular clusters, ancient groups housing thousands of stars within a limited space. Webb's discoveries reveal the extraordinary brightness of stars inside these clusters, along with an abundance of nitrogen, suggesting the presence of massive stars. These insights offer clues to the formation and evolution of these enigmatic clusters, providing new avenues for investigation into stellar dynamics and evolution. Amid these discoveries, Dr. Kaku offers an alternative explanation for later revelations, suggesting that the JWST may have encountered black holes instead of infant galaxies. This theory challenges conventional models of universe formation, proposing that these objects could be massive black holes born from the aftermath of creation itself. Such an idea hints at the emergence of new laws of physics within these mysterious cosmic structures, pushing the boundaries of how we might interpret the universe. Considering the universe further, another related hypothesis suggests that the universe itself could be a giant black hole, originating from the collapse of a massive black hole, giving birth to a much larger universe within the event horizon of a black hole where gravity is so extreme that nothing can escape. Space-time becomes warped, leading to a singularity, a point of infinite density and curvature. Some researchers entertain the possibility of another event horizon within the black hole, extending to an alternate universe beyond our current understanding. This intriguing concept suggests that our universe lives within a black hole, nestled inside another universe, hinting at the existence of multiple universes within other black holes. While theoretical models support this idea, no observational evidence or studies have yet confirmed it. Nevertheless, this hypothesis offers a compelling perspective on our vast origins. One compelling theory, especially concerning what happened before the Big Bang, proposes that the universe's birth occurred from a dense state of matter and energy around 13.8 billion years ago. However, it fails to explain what triggered this initial condition or what existed before it. Some physicists, including Dr. Kaku, remain unsatisfied with this explanation and seek to uncover a more profound reason for the creation of our universe. One intriguing theory posits that our universe developed from a black hole in another universe, offering a fascinating perspective on our vast beginnings. This idea was proposed by Russian physicist Andre Linda in 1973 and further developed by physicists like Lee Smolin, Nikolai Pelosi, and Stephen Selling. According to this hypothesis, 
our universe could be just one among countless others within an immense span called the multiverse, each with its own distinct set of physical laws. Imagine these universes as separate entities, each with its own rules and characteristics. Some of them could even house extraordinary phenomena like black holes capable of giving birth to entirely new universes. How is this possible? Consider a black hole, a structure existing within the fabric of existence, as described by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Inside a black hole, gravity is so immensely strong that it warps the fabric of reality, forming an apparent abyss known as a singularity. However, some physicists argue that these singularities are not actual entities, but rather mathematical curiosities. They suggest that when we push the limits of general relativity, quantum effects come into play, preventing singularities from forming inside black holes and giving rise to new regions of space-time with unique properties. These new space-time regions could be new universes, each with entirely different physical laws, separated from their parent universes by event horizons, boundaries beyond which nothing can escape or communicate. This breathtaking scenario imagines a cosmic separation between universes, each with its own distinct properties. Within the perplexing depths of a black hole, the formation of new universes could be occurring, expanding the limits of our understanding and revealing the endless possibilities within the vast tapestry of the multiverse. Another idea suggests that these newly discovered regions of space-time may be wormhole shortcuts or tunnels in the fabric of space-time, offering another intriguing path for exploration in the realms of cosmology and theoretical physics. Wormholes, speculative solutions to Einstein's general relativity equations, offer an exciting scenario where each end of the wormhole would connect to distinct universes. One end would be inside a black hole, specifically within its event horizon, while the other would be outside, in a young black hole's event horizon. In this fascinating concept, matter and energy that fall into a black hole in one universe might emerge as a white hole in another universe. Unlike a black hole, from which nothing can escape, a white hole serves as a region where nothing can enter, but everything can leave. It acts as a birthplace for a new universe, providing the essential ingredients, matter, energy, space-time, and physical laws. This process could propagate endlessly, resulting in a limitless chain or network of universes within universes. Each universe within this grand cosmic tapestry has its own unique history, evolution, structure, composition, and ultimate fate. This hypothesis offers a compelling explanation for the existence of our universe, its beginnings, and its destiny. It also presents potential answers to various cosmological puzzles, such as why our universe has lower entropy, finely tuned physical constants, dark energy, dark matter, cosmic homogeneity, large-scale structure, cosmic microwave background radiation, primordial gravitational waves, quantum fluctuations, and quantum entanglement. However, this hypothesis faces several challenges and objections. Despite its appeal, it is highly speculative, untestable, and incomplete. Critics argue that it succumbs to inconsistencies, paradoxes, circular reasoning, and ad hoc explanations. Additionally, it delves into speculative and human-centered domains, making it difficult to establish its scientific validity. While this theory presents a captivating narrative for the existence and nature of our universe, it encounters significant obstacles that challenge its scientific legitimacy and practical relevance. Continuing to explore the depths of our universe, another area of fascinating research includes the potential detection of primordial black holes. These theoretical objects are believed to have formed in the early universe, shortly after the Big Bang, possibly playing a significant role in cosmic evolution. Their existence may help explain some of the unresolved questions about the universe's formation and the distribution of dark matter. Primordial black holes are estimated to have a range of masses, from tiny to stellar-sized, depending on the conditions of the early universe. If they exist, they could provide crucial insights into the nature of dark matter, as their gravitational effects would influence the formation and behavior of galaxies. Moreover, their potential detection would validate several theoretical predictions and could open new avenues for understanding quantum gravity and the relationship between general relativity and quantum mechanics. Observatories like LIGO and Virgo have already detected several gravitational wave events, offering a novel way to observe the universe.
These detections not only confirm aspects of Einstein's theory of general relativity, but also provide a new lens through which we can study the dynamics of black holes and neutron stars, shedding light on phenomena that are otherwise invisible to traditional telescopes.